Yankees. That wasn't my fault. No, it's like they want to uh, have everybody so brainwashed. Rumors, lies, you. To you and stuff like you. It's your boy DJ Academics, and now I've learned to accept people for their true character. Now, after you show me who you are on multiple occasions, I either have to accept you for you, or I gotta stop fucking with you, as long as you remain consistent. Now, Kanye West. Kanye West has shown us over the last couple years that he's gonna be that nigga that's gonna be kind of disgruntled. No matter how much money he has, no matter who he's fucking, no matter who he marries, no matter if he has a number one album, he's always gonna have some type of disgruntledness about him. He's gonna be ranting. When you go to his concert, if you purchase a Kanye West ticket to go to a concert, you gotta expect at least half an hour of ranting now he's probably also going to be wearing some type of contraption on his face he probably going to call himself jesus he's probably going to levitate and try to come down from the roof and tell you guys to get on your fucking knees and praise him that's kanye west now kanye west has remained consistent some people call him crazy but he's remained consistent doing consistently crazy shit now you get to a point where you either got to accept him or you got to say, Kanye, let's get the fuck out of here and I don't give a fuck what you do. Now you can't be shocked every single time he does something else. Now, this time around, there's actually a festival that goes on in London and it's called the Wireless Festival. Now Drake was scheduled to perform. Yes, the lice Kim Key Sweat was supposed to perform. But of course, he fell sick, <laughs> what a surprise, to some undisclosed illness. I keep it real, I think it's some heartbreak stemming to do with Rihanna, but whatever. Now. Drake couldn't perform, he was forced to cancel his performance, and of course, the, te the what, what do you call him, the Louis Vuitton Don, Kanye West stepped up to replace him, and of course, bringing along his performance, his classic songs, his extensive catalog, he brought along a big ass rant. Now, one of the rants took about 15 minutes, and during Runaway, he delivered an auto-tuned filled rant, which, number one, for people who aren't into Kanye West ranting, it's one thing if a nigga just stops performing, rants to you, basically lecturing you when you pay to go to a concert, but to lecture you in auto-tune, it's almost ridiculous, but as I said, if you at this point realize what he's doing, it's either you're gonna immediately leave when he gets on stage, or you're gonna live with it because you probably like it or don't mind it, now, he was talking about the same shit he's been talking about for years, he's talking about Louis Vuitton, he's talking about Gucci, he's talking about people discriminating against him because he's black and how he's going through some type of plight he also talks about his wife kim kardashian he talks about her shit he talks about constantly so as i said he's not talking about anything new he keeps repeating himself so either at this point you get the fuck over it or it doesn't bother you at all now now, if you guys want to hear the whole thing, you guys could click in the link in the description and you could it'll take you where you could see the whole 15 minute rant. And as I said before, you've seen one Kanye West rant, you've seen them all. And pretty much my thoughts on this is that this isn't a big fucking deal. Now, I saw this story a few days ago and I neglected to report on it because I'm like, this, this isn't news. It's like knowing someone's going to do something, then they do it. And then you're like, oh, wow, it's news. No, it's not news at all. But of course, some people care because they're still surprised that Kanye West is still lecturing at his concerts. Kanye West will always do this. As I said, I'm expecting Kanye West's next album to be a classic. He just gave somebody a 30-piece combo defending his wife for, because someone called his wife a nigger lover. He married said woman who everyone's been criticizing. Everyone said, and include me, said that Yeezus was a dud. And we know every time he drops an album that's sort of questionable, a.k.a. 808s and Heartbreaks, he comes back with a undeniable classic. He came back with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Dope ass album, I thought it was sonically a classic album. And now, he's supposed to be releasing an album either this year or next year, and I'm expecting nothing other than a classic. Now, there's also rumors that him and Jay-Z are beefing, because no matter how much, and this is why Kanye West feels how he feels about himself. No matter how annoying people say he is, they dissect every single thing he does. He walks on the fucking street and he talks to one paparazzi and ignores the rest of them. It's a headline. He walks down the street, he talks to no paparazzi. It's still a headline. Now, people have read into his performance and said he omitted Jay-Z's name on a couple of songs. Now they're quote-unquote beefing and people are just really jumping to conclusions. Now, this guy barely does press, so we can't really confirm or deny 
But I don't care. I don't think, even if they're going through some type of rift, people do get mad at each other. Who cares? They're probably not going to be beefing. It's really not beef until it's clear and obvious. You mention him in a derogatory, in the derogative sense, they're not beefing. But people are going to continue to read into it, and um, that's what it is. So what do you guys think about Kanye West delivering another epic rant at another concert? What do you think about the whole thing with him and Jay-Z? What do you think about his marriage to Kim Kardashian? What do you think about him not being a father and still not giving a fuck, still acting like he was acting 10 years ago? Now, it's your boy DJ Academics. Make sure you guys get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, definitely share, and I'm out.